in time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. What up, YouTube? It's your man, man, boys for life. Coming at you with another fucking video. Got on my 1995 Dallas Cowboy Super Bowl champ hat. Um, what I wanted to talk to you today about was something that I heard and had to do my research on. And uh, <laughs> it's funny, you know. It's funny. You don't want to believe it. You you, you don't want to believe the accusations. But when it's just happening over and over and over um, with certain people, it's like you're just trying to find them guilty. You're just trying to get them out of here. Um, Chris Long has come out and basically said on his way out the door, of, you know, when he retired, basically gave a big F you and the middle finger to the NFL saying like, look, I'm the recipient of the Walter Payton award. And, and, you know, y'all view me in this light as such a great guy and all this and that and the other, and I do this and I do that. But, um, I've been high the whole fucking time. Basically. I mean, it's just funny. I mean, I get it. You get Eric Reed. Actually, no, I don't. Um, he was one of the guys that took a knee with Colin Kaepernick. And um, um, whether you agree or disagree with whatever uh, Cap did and Eric Reed did, um, um, you know, he was reinstated. And within, what, a month, he had like 10 drug tests. I mean, come on, after the first two or three, and he's not coming back dirty. Why do you keep going after him? Why? And, and and Chris Long, in his little report or his little interview or whatever he said, whatever it was, basically said, look, we know when this is happening. They tell us. They tell us ahead of time. So that way, if we are doing it, we can get clean. And all that tells me is that Randy Gregory didn't do what he needed to do to get clean. He didn't. He didn't. I mean, if you've never smoked weed, don't speak on it. If you've never smoked weed, don't speak on it because this facade that the government has you thinking of what it does is completely false. Completely false. Um, weed is not a drug. If you call it a drug, it's not. Weed is a plant that grow that way. It grow like that. Its side effects are happy, sleepy, hungry. That is it. It does not make you dangerous. It does not make you coherent. It does not make you brain dead. Look, check it out. I can roll up about a thousand blunts and smoke those blunts back to back to back to back to back about a thousand times or a thousand times. Just smoke one back to back to back a thousand times. And guess what's going to happen to me? I'm probably going to stare at that fucking refrigerator and think, shit. There ain't, I bet you there ain't nothing in there. And I op open it up and probably eat up about every fucking thing that's in that fridge. That's basically what weed does. And then after that, I'm going to take my ass on the couch, turn on some TV, and laugh, and then pass the fuck out. Now, if I take 13 Tylenol, which are completely legal, if I take 13 of those motherfuckers... That'll probably be my last headache that I will ever have in my life. Because I will probably be put six feet under if I don't get to poison control. If I don't get to the hospital right away. If I, I can literally drink myself to death. Alcohol poisoning. I can get hooked on pain meds, which does something to you. Some of these players... Need the weed, as Stephen A. Smith, Stephen A. Smith likes to say, because obviously that's a dude that ain't never smoked a day in his life. Obviously, because he he has this facade that the government has that it does some shit to you, and it doesn't. It's a plant that needs to be legalized. Look, I smoked it. Look, I used to hate smoking. 
I said, girls that smoke it are nasty, all this shit. Age 18, I go to New Mexico to play, go play baseball. Go play ball. The family I'm staying with, the son, you know, the baseball guys. Hey, man, you want to try some? Yeah, let me try it. You know, I'm fucking 18, right? In a new state, in a new city, playing ball for the summer. Guess what? I try it. Nothing happened the first time because really you don't know what the fuck to feel. You don't know what's going on. The second time, a group of friends, they take me. I'm over there hitting the pipe. <laughs> toke up. And the next thing I know, I'm like, oh, shit. This is why you like to smoke weed. I feel amazing. I feel no pain. I'm happy. I'm hungry. And I want to fucking go to sleep. Does weed make you lazy? No. Guess what? Let me tell you a little story. My whole life, basically, you know, couldn't settle, couldn't sit down, running around everywhere, basically being a boy, basically being a boy. But then I get to school, can't concentrate, not doing well, you know, um, can't focus. So I go get tested. Boop, ADD. What am I, what am I prescribed? Ridlin, Adderall. At the age of like eight and nine years old. I'm Cole Beasley size. Okay. When you're a baby, they're supposed to test you, right, about how tall you're supposed to be and whatnot. They can kind of measure out. They told me I was supposed to be like 6'2". But this medicine and the side effect was being able to stunt my growth. And that's what happened. That's what happened. Because I remember when I was little, I look at pictures. I'm just as tall, if not taller, than a lot of my friends. And then they just grew. And I'm over here on Ridland and, and Adderall and all kinds of shit. And they just fucking passed me. <laughs> you know. I mean, and then for the NFL to go out there and just go after Randy. Go after him. Go after him. Go after him. Until he fail. Now, there are stipulations to how he failed. Um, it's either he missed a drug test. Um, he was, he, you know, he didn't answer when they were supposed to call him to check in on him. Um, he just outright failed. There's a lot of ways. And, and I don't know, I don't think I've ever found how he failed it. It's just, boom, he could be suspended, whatever. But with Chris Long going out there and saying, look, I smoked weed this whole time and you ain't ever caught me. And I am living proof of this doesn't enhance my play. This doesn't have any harm to my body. This actually helps me recover from the trenches, the, you know, working in the trenches day in and day out. That's what he basically did. Now, you can take this either way. You can take this as him snitching. Basically, being like, look, I took weed. Look, I smoked weed and blah, this and that. And, you know, all these dudes smoke weed still. And, or you can take it as, look, I'm a dude that smoked weed, bro. I'm living proof of this, that, and the other. And I'm sure that's how, he, that's how he's trying to present himself. Saying like, look, I smoked weed. It didn't enhance nothing. It didn't do. All weed does, for me, when I hit that first, you know, that first joint, and then I hit that first pipe hit, everything, not, didn't, I don't want to say got put into perspective, but once I started smoking weed, how focused I was. I... Could go legit. I could legit smoke a blunt, smoke a joint, smoke out of a pipe, water, you know, a, a bottle of water, an apple, whatever, Coke can, whatever, get high as fuck, go to the gym, and I will be there for two hours, three hours, zone the fuck in. Zone the fuck in. Because that's what it does, especially for people like me who have ADD. And who are chronic, who are hurt all of my, I got fucking, my back hurts. Look, you, I got a scar, you know, I, I have torn ligaments. It hurts all the time. My body hurts. And that shit helps. That shit helps. I have not touched that shit since I was 21. That was the last time I touched that shit. 21, 22. That was the last time. Why? Because I was about to get a job with the government. I had to put my big boy pants on. Couldn't, you know, it ended up not getting hired. Now I got work where I work now where they randomly drug test. Okay, I've been ran I have been there for nine, going on nine years. 
been selected twice for a random. And then I had a little, you know, accident inside the yard and I had to go for another piss test. Of course, I passed. But still, it's just crazy that weed is such a big problem when it should be no problem at all. Weed is not a harmful plant, not a drug. Drug, you got to do shit to it chemically. Water, baking soda. I don't know the recipe, but that's what you got to do to it. Weed is only illegal because back at the turn of the century, not, not this century, the 20th century, back at the turn of the century when you had blacks and Mexicans coming over here working for cheap, you know, working, cocaine was connected to the blacks. Weed was connected to the Mexicans back then. And white folk were losing their jobs because the Mexican was working longer and harder. Blacks were doing the same shit because cocaine, if you ain't ever done it, don't speak on it. It makes you go a thousand miles an hour. I've done it twice. I don't like the way it feels. Haven't done it since. Weed, I could do it all fucking day. It makes me focused and I can get my shit done. And the white senators, the white government didn't like this. So they banned cocaine. They banned, they banned weed. They made it illegal for Mexicans and blacks to do it. So white men could get their jobs back. And I'm not, I'm not racist towards anything. I'm just spitting the truth. I'm just spitting facts. I'm a little bit of a history buff. I know my little history here and there. And I know that's the facts. I know that's the facts. It's the only reason why we because you back at the turn of the century, you could go get fucking cocaine. Coke! Where do you think Coca-Cola got their name from? There was cocaine in Coke. You could go off to off to the corner store and get a bottle of morphine, bro. And now this shit is illegal unless prescribed by a doctor. Now cocaine's not. I mean that's just illegal. But come on. Come on. I'm telling you. It's only illegal because of blacks and Mexicans. That's it. Baseball used to be predominantly white sport. They don't get drug tested. They still don't. Basketball. That's on all black sport. They don't get tested for weed. Football gets tested for weed. Baseball and basketball don't. So, that's all I got to say. With Chris Long doing what he did, saying that I am living proof that weed doesn't do shit to you. It only helps you. Josh Gordon, Randy Gregory need to be reinstated now. I'm out. Peace.